Hello my soccer universe. Yes, it's a naked wall. I managed to get the national team jerseys down, but I put all the um, club teams down, but I have not figured out how to arrange them. And then I realized basically all the leagues that I wish to cover this uh, season are represented here, except for one, which is Portugal, which will I will add in. Um, and yeah, we'll talk about, I mean, I will every week i will try to make four roundup videos for the national leagues this time i will put them in separate uh lists i have decided on the following pairings i will pair spain and portugal makes geographical sense i will um then the premier league i will pair with the area divisie uh, which i think also is kind of geographically close the toughest pairing for me was Serie A and League A because I usually talk a lot about Serie A and I was thinking whether Serie A, and I'm still not quite decided, whether Serie A shouldn't be its own beast and I add League A onto the Premier League and the Area Divisia. This might still happen. I probably have to make this call over the weekend, but I think this is also something that makes sense. And then Germany and Austria also go together. So those are the eight leagues that I want to talk about this season that I want to follow. I will make my own graphics. I managed that everything works fine. Kids are being put to bed and are not happy about uh, choices of stories being read, especially the little one. So yeah, everything except Portugal is represented here. Yes, this one is Germany, Stuttgart. Very happy that you have Stuttgart back. Um, and yeah, the other ones, I think you can see quite well what is there. This will be a challenging season. I think, you know, I've been talking about Corona uh, when the break was on. I really think that having full leagues is just crazy. I actually sh thought that the leagues should go the former Argentinian way where they only play one round, you know, or you cut the leagues in two and then make some kind of playoffs or whatever. Make a normal, make a southern league, or take the current standings, take all the ones with uh, even finishes and all the ones with odd finishes, and then make a playoff. You know, do something to reduce the number of games. Uh, the fact that we have Euros looming, and this is a very fixed thing. We want to get a World Cup qualifiers in, we want to get a full Champions League in, although the, the UEFA, to their credit, at least the qualifying round got slashed a little bit. So let's see how that one will work out. Uh, but I think everything else is still up for grabs. It's all about money, money, money. Expect a lot of injuries this season. I think um, I will do some predictions which are purely down to uh, rating, but... Um, those predictions can very quickly go wrong with uh, lots of injuries. So you need to have a good, big squad. You need to manage your players well. This is for me the biggest one. And then of course we are still in COVID times where it's absolutely not clear what's gonna happen. We see already uh, PSG is playing tonight. The result will not be reflected in this video between Lance and PSG, but you now have the, uh, all the stars are out with COVID. I mean, Neymar, Di Maria, Mbappé, uh, Icardi, I think even, they're all out with uh, COVID uh, infection. So I'm gonna be curious to see those results. This is something you will see in the highlight video during, at the end uh, of this weekend or, you know, Monday, Tuesday, this will be my um, days when I'm planning to post. There will be, and I'm really planning on those now, the jersey reviews. Uh, I will probably start with the Premier League, although I'm kind of tempted to do League 1 because they were the first ones to start. So let's see. Uh, still not decided, but this will come, but I will probably only release two per week and then this goes on and on and on and on. Yeah, so very challenging. I'm worried about this season too, to be honest. I think in Austria they made, uh, yeah, I'm wearing my favorite last jersey from the 96 to 98 one. In Austria they made now rules that, you know, if the league is abandoned after first, uh, in initially, immediately cannot be, then there will be no champion and no re 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 relegation and so on. And then, you know, how do you get a champion? You need to finish, everyone needs to play each other at least twice and then there we can have then promotion, relegation, all those kind of things. I think every league needs to have this contingency plan ready. Other than that, I don't think this season can be properly finished, especially now that COVID uh, numbers in Europe are starting up again. Now, uh, I see all the governments, they 
don't do the global lockdown, although I think this is not off the table, but they try to catch it locally, but it is really, 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 really open. The other thing is we'll have fans in certain stadiums. Uh, I know France has limited amount of fans. I know Austria will have. I think Germany will try. So I know Italy until October for sure not. So that's going to be interesting. Of course, it will be nothing, absolutely nothing like we had before. That is also clear because uh, most of the organized supporters, they rely on standing uh, packed together. That's not going to happen during COVID times. I find it a little bit odd that they then say, and yeah, we are completely not doing it. But hey, uh, it's a scene I have understanding of, but I don't always understand that scene. So what I want to do in this video is to go through the leagues that I, that I want to cover that are either already running, which is basically France, um, that are about to start this weekend, give you very briefly my pre-season predictions for that, except for France, where you will see already how it's running. And yeah, uh, look at what you can watch this weekend. As I said, I will not do dedicated what to watch videos except for international breaks anymore. I will only do... Um, those at the end of each individual weekend roundup to tell you okay these are the weeks these are the games that are happening this upcoming week um the what to watch video videos really didn't get any views so i'm not gonna do those anymore so just also all those things are subject to change we had today this uh schedule in spain was changed because they are still fighting about whether the friday and monday games so they put everything on saturday and sunday Go figure. So uh, La Liga doesn't start on Friday, it will start on uh, Saturday. Let's start with La Liga. Um, here is the projected, you know, the, the way that the teams are ordered is the way the leagues finished and then I just sub in the um, promoted teams in the order. So this is basically the standings and then uh, towards the right, forget all about the numbers, lots of zeros here. To the right I have the chances that each team will become champion. We have the chances that they reach the Champions League, actually, and then the chance of being relegated, which uh, in case of La Liga is I don't like because the ratings I could get from 538 for the um, promoted teams are still the ones from the Segunda, and I don't think they are reliable. I think those numbers will come down considerably the next time uh, we'll be talking. It's just all that I had for now. But surprisingly, we'll see that Barcelona is still favored despite them being an absolute cluster mess uh, at the moment, uh, favored over Real Madrid. Um, I guess the Messi factor still plays in. I'm very curious to see how this would play out. I have the feeling that, yes, Barcelona, if you look at it, has a really good squad, but I don't know how Messi will play with the whole thing, the whole dynamic, you know, you have an unhappy player. Even if he gives it all, I don't think this will reflect well on the, on the dressing room. And you know, most of his friends are also gone at the club already. So that's gonna be an interesting watch. I think that La Liga, it doesn't reflect it here. But if I'm Atletico Madrid or Valencia, uh, or Sevilla, Valencia is another one, a complete mess. Uh, Sevilla, I'm looking at this and thinking, I have a huge chance here to do something. Um, the thing is that as long as the big boys will consistently make points, it will be between the two of them. But if both of them show weaknesses and, you know, reach only about 80 points or whatever, I think uh, with a good run, Atletico Madrid or Sevilla might be able to reach it. But again, that's subject to not having injuries or being able to sustain this. Will there be a surprising team? Uh, probably. I'm... Not sure about the promoted teams. I think Wesca we saw last time they, they were up, they went very quickly down again. Cadiz, maybe, but uh, let's see. I honestly, from what I see, Real Sociedad would be a fun team to see again. Villarreal could do maybe something, but I think it will be among the top four at the moment. And I also expect Granada to kind of take a little nose dive back. So uh, the opening games, none of the big boys will be playing. And here the dates are very, very important if you watch. We have on Saturday, it starts with Aba against Vigo. And Vigo is becoming one of my favorite teams uh, lately. The actual opener, I think, was... Um, 
was Alaves against Betis, which got put now on Sunday, the, the early game. And don't be fooled about the Atletico Madrid Sevilla match, which is really exciting. This would be a great opener. However, that takes place in January. So the big match is, of course, the Valencia derby between Valencia and Levante. Um, but, you know, we don't know yet when Barcelona will take on Elche. We don't know when Real Madrid will take on Getafe. I think it's a rather slow start for La Liga. Premier League, everything but, uh, and Premier League is also, there is probably where we saw the most transfer activity, but mostly for one club, it was uh, Chelsea, although Manchester United with getting Van der Beek, uh, a little bit surprised. Liverpool, yes, doesn't have the money. I mean, it's not that they're broke, but they don't have the money to spend if they want to do it uh, reasonably. So yeah, and Manchester City also didn't get messy. Manchester City are the favorites according to uh, my model that's based on the 538 ratings. Um, with Liverpool, of course, uh, in second place, and then Chelsea, and the man, man, which is that, and then Chelsea, although this was before the Harvard signing, although he might not make this. Chelsea is in so far interesting because they have been defensively quite weak, but now with Thiago Silva, maybe they can get it in. But I still, there are quite some question marks behind Chelsea. I think Chelsea has the largest range of where they could be. I think if everything goes well, they could well mount a title challenge. I just don't see it really ha happening. While uh, they also could be a complete mess and Frank Lampert might uh, get out. I think United is the more reliable team, but I don't think that they are not as likely as to match Liverpool and Manchester City. I think those are still the two, and I would actually think Liverpool... I don't want to say too much, uh, but I don't think they can keep this up again. They For two seasons they went full tilt. Let's see. Uh, here the ratings for re relegation are way more reliable. I think Leeds United will be an interesting team to watch. I think also Arsenal, Wolves, Spurs under Mourinho, maybe. Let's see how this will go. Um, Fulham, also favorites to go down. Um, if we look now at the first match day, and you know, this is a very, very condensed preview. I don't want to do a huge preview uh, per, per se, because you can find this area, especially for the Premier League. Uh, I think the match to watch is Liverpool against Leeds. That Klopp against Bielsa, very similar styles, champion against uh, League One champion, I was about to say, championship champion, that sounds crazy, uh, is a really great match. I think didn't Liverpool start against Norwich last season as well, so they always get the uh, slow start. The two Manchester teams, because of their European involvement, have not yet um, been confirmed uh, their opening dates. It starts with a London derby between Fulham and Arsenal. Let's see how that goes. Um, Spurs against Everton could also be a really interesting one. So there are, there are a few in there for the Premier League. I, I, if this it, if this week we we weekend I'm watching uh, leagues, I think uh, it definitely will be more Premier League than La Liga. I have to say that. Uh, in France, we had already a few rounds played. You see here the results for round one. Again, three uh, have not been played, uh, must, which will be played during the week now, coming up. Um, Marseille, saint Etienne should have been the opener that would have was postponed due to the strict corona regulations, which I think the, uh, the French league is already realizing. Yeah, if we say three have corona and we postpone the match, then honestly, we will not be able to finish the league. Because PSG has way more, so let's see how that is going. Um, let's see in the midweek, PSG and Lyon will have a full program getting into it. PSG has not even played a single match yet. Um, as I said, uh, loss PSG is about to happen. Uh, at the moment of recording, it's 20 minutes away. I probably won't be watching, but I'm looking forward to highlights. Lyon had a good start, but I think Monaco is the team that everyone is a little bit talking about with Nico Kovac and so on that could be interesting and Nice of course is currently uh, in first place with as you see in the table Nice, Bordeaux uh, on, on front, uh, Rennes and Monaco but if you really look now at the percentages to the side you also see PSG heavily heavily favored I think they can even have a very weak start then it's Lyon and then everyone else more or less Marseille you know, many uh, fans would probably wish for that. 
they are in too much financial trouble. Uh, that also allows me now, if you look at the very top, I offer two more um, numbers. The first one is the goal average and kind of the um, uh, shading on, on, on the back, the greener, the better, the red, the more red, the worse. Uh, goal average is pretty much uh, just that we can see how the leagues compare. And then I have this this balance measure, which I base now not on the rating itself, but on the points that the teams get. Uh, we see now currently in Liga, it's rather even. The closer this measure is to zero, the more equal things are. At the beginning of the season, of course, is everything is unequal. So I don't actually put much greens. But you know, as long as it goes on, I hope this will give us an idea of how even the league is, maybe even how tight the championship race is. I want to try this for this season for once. Uh, Liga actually has quite a good slate of games. I mean, it starts tomorrow with Bordeaux against Lyon, which is already a big game. I will be watching a different one, as you will see in a uh, second, but that is a great one. And then I think the game of the weekend is actually on Sunday at 9 between PSG and Marseille. Probably his PSG doesn't have any, any players, but that's definitely a big one. Also, Monaco against Nantes is, in, within the French context, a pretty nice game. Uh, let's see where leaders Nice are playing. They play at Montpellier, so also not that uninteresting. Eredivisie. We're going to cover the Eredivisie. I will probably mention only for big games, but I'll show you the results. Um, in this one, Ajax, the big favorites. Uh, this is now the standings, how it was... Aban abandoned, you know, there was no Dutch champion. I actually think these guys last should be Dutch champions. We beat PSV, we beat, Al we beat Alkmaar and Alkmaar beat Ajax. So I think we last has a good uh, case for being the Dutch champions. Um, Ajax is favored heavily in this league um, due to the rating. Let's see. You know, Van der Beek gone, uh, Ziyech gone. I think most of the Dutch teams will look at this and say yeah maybe i'm looking psv uh az also i think they have a pretty young squad let's see about that and i don't know if feyenoord can squeak in there would be interesting to see that uh in the first round everyone is playing uh we have uh sparta against ajax is uh the first game of uh the, fa the favorites, I think, the Sunday uh, clash, but it's also in December, Utrecht, Ajax, uh, AZ would be great. Uh, Fiena plays at Zwolle and Eindhoven away to Groningen. That is the game to watch, because who's playing at Groningen? A certain Ariane Rom. So that's going to be interesting. And of course, the last league that starts this uh, weekend that we're going to watch is... The Austrian League. I will always talk about the Austrian League. Similar situation as we had in France. Salzburg is heavily favored. The only one that's giving a small chance is Lasken and Rapid and Wolfsburg are kind of in there. Let's see about their European engagement in there, how that will work out for them, because especially Rapid never did well when they had to play European games, which they will this fall. I hope Lask will too, but hey. Uh, here I have percent that you reach uh, become champions and then uh, since the Austrian league you see the green and the red uh, the league will be split in half so the next column is how likely is it that you finish in the top six in the first go around in the regular season if you like and we see that the top four uh, are the ones that are favored uh, you also kind of can uh, feel how strong those teams are and then yeah uh, Austria Wien is the one that everyone is betting on to get in now let's see how that goes uh, the first round starts with Lask against Austria Wien. This is the official op op opening match due to the European engagement. Rapid had to be put also on Friday, which I don't, uh, they could easily have played Saturday, but you know, they have to travel to Belgium and they want to enable them. It actually starts with a bang with Wolfsburg against Salzburg. I think that's a great game to start it with. Uh, Ried is the promoter team, which is kind of a local rival to Lask. Uh, but you know, they take it way more serious than we take them. So this is my kind of little bit look ahead of what the leagues will look like. Um, let me know what you think about this little preview and about the chances that I have put out there. I actually checked the French ones against Alts and they seem to be about all right. Uh, drop a line below um, if you have any updates on any schedule changes because that is always interesting. Uh, give me a thumbs up, enjoy this video, subscribe to my uh, channel if you want to see more videos like this and I will talk to you soon and next time we'll have jerseys up there again. Bye! Hey there! 
I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that would be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.